Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are reviewing the famous, the most popular the Mucar CS. So this is an OBD reader and this one is packed full of so many features that it will blow your mind. Everything is always packaged and organized so nicely. It is a professional company, not like some of the other companies that sell readers that just quickly package things. This company actually provides you with everything that you could possibly need. So inside here, you can find your manual and everything needed, instructions and so forth. So this is what it looks like. To go over very quickly, it's a full OBD2 diagnosis reader, multiple system diagnosis, powerful diagnosis, read and clear fault codes in live data stream, equipped with software updates and maintenance and service. It covers a wide variety of vehicles which support all vehicles after 1996 with OBD2 protocols. So this is what it looks like, a sleek and stylish design. So as you can tell, this is not your typical cheap run-of-the-mill OB reader. You got a nice length cable. Let's go ahead and test this out. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is locate your OB port. It's gonna be somewhere around your driver's side legs. So for us, it's right up in here. Take your key and put it to the on position. You don't have to start your vehicle unless you're doing the live data testing. Then you can start your vehicle. But if you're just checking your codes and whatnot, you don't need that. You don't have to have your vehicle turned on. You just gotta have it on the ignition. And as you can see that once you have it plugged in, ignition's on, it will start loading. So now you can go ahead and see uh, your network settings and so forth So for this you will want to be within Wi-Fi range connected to your computer or whatnot So we went ahead and set it up the Wi-Fi range and now we can go through all this stuff and Set everything up. So now that we are connected we can see 12 volts We can go and set up all this stuff scan OBD maintenance and service store update file repair and settings so we're gonna check out the settings here. You got screen recorder, photo album, screen floating window, network, brightness, all these different things in here. Tons and tons of features, which is just crazy. So we're gonna go ahead and scan our vehicle. Uh, let's go back here. So let's see, Ford, we wanna go this one. So we're now checking with Ford. So guys, I'm blocking out the VIN, but it brought up our vehicle, which is pretty awesome. And now we're going to go ahead and select it. All right. Now that we scanned our vehicle, we can now do health reports. It's now scanning our entire vehicle. So we got a couple things which we know about, but let's go check them out for the sake. I mean, this is awesome, guys. This is really, really awesome. Absolutely a must. We can check out the information here, read the fault code. Whole bunch of different stuff that you guys can do. So let's go ahead and do this one. I mean, there's just crazy. It's crazy what this can do. I mean, this is like top of the line. Absolutely amazing. Like this is something that you would see in a professional garage but yet it's affordable for everyone. So now it went through and it scanned all of our stuff. So we have all these different codes, which we are familiar with since we have a lot of customs set up, but let's go ahead. So if it shows a code, you can go ahead, check. You can click tap it and it will go and show you all the other information about it when it tried testing and what was the reason behind it. You can then Combine, record, report, compare. So let's see, I think we went to the health report the first. Yeah, so that was the first thing we did. Um, let's go system scan. I mean, like you can check your ABS, your RCM, PCM, a whole bunch of different stuff. So this is the restraint control modular you can check. All this different stuff. Then you can read all the information based on what it found. Powertrain, you can go and 
read all the information it found. Like this thing is truly amazing. So that was the scan. Now we're drilling the OBD. Then once you do the OBD, then it comes up a whole bunch of different stuff. It can support 50 different data streams. I mean, it's just crazy. Absolutely awesome. And then let's see if you tap it. Now we can go under all this other stuff. We can do read IM readiness, live data, read freeze frame, read fault code, clear code, test results, control operation, read vehicle information. Wow. You can set up maintenance, which is amazing. So you can check out all the maintenance on your stuff like oil. So you can check your brake, oil, SAS, TPMS. You can visit their store and see a whole bunch of different stuff related. Overall, this definitely gets a 4.5 stars, if not a 4.8 stars from me. Absolutely love it. And this, we just even, we didn't touch half the stuff that you guys can do with this.